Today is a blessed day, bro. It's, it's a very blessed day, man. Y'all, today, man, we're getting ready to check out Uncle Ruckus' reality show, man. Another Boondocks episode, man. Everyone, it's Thursday, so it's time for our Monday staff meeting. My name sure. is Wedgie Rudland, and I'm Let's the new super-duper smart Harvard-educated president of entertainment at BET. Yep. Do you know why I was given this job? Because you're super-duper smart. Yes, but why? Because you went to Harvard. Yes. Yep. But why would they want a super-duper smart guy who went to Harvard to run BET? I know. Because the nigga look like Geo Dude. Pokemon looking ass. Bro, did they have a slave because in the background? It's time to take BET in a new direction. Right on, Wendy. Remember the first day I showed up, I asked, What's our highest rated program? And you guys said, 106 in Park with AJ and Free. Yes. Yep. And mm -hmm. I said, Great. Fire them. Mm -hmm. Why? Because what you call success, <clears throat> Reggie Rudlin calls failure. And vice versa. See, when I'm people wrong. ask me, Have I made BET a success? <clears throat> I say no. It's I do not watch BET, bro. Like, I specifically don't watch BET. Now, it's not it's not that they don't have some good shows. I think I, I think BET is probably different from what I remember it as and shit. But for the most part, BI, uh, BI, BI, B, BET is not is not the best thing for black people, bro. I don't I do not think it's that, time bro. to redefine success because once you embrace failure, you can't go anywhere else but up. That's a business theory they taught me at Harvard. It's called negative elevation. Now I know I may be going a little too fast for some of you, yep. but I'm happy to slow it down. Are there any questions? Is it true that you put a ban on two and three syllable words, man? Good question. Yes. Our research says we need to be focusing on the monosyllabic. Oh, that be I believe shit. lots of syllables confuses our viewers, especially those in the South. I got a question. Of course you do. You didn't go to Harvard. Do you have any experience running a network? Okay, see now? You're a hater. You're fired, so get on out of Damn. here. Damn. I've been paid in three months. This is basically volunteer work for me. Well, then why are you showing up, big, strong, strong head ass boy? What the fuck? Bad lining ass nigga, bro. TV screen forehead ass, mad face ass. Bro, why you keep showing up, bro? If I haven't been paid in three months, do you think I'm gonna fuck? Hell no. Me. Oh. I'm not showing up. Well, I'm not being fly it down so the rest of us who are getting paid can work. Thank you. You're the Harvard man. Okay. I would like everyone to please look under their chairs. You will find a copy of the Black Panther comic book that I wrote. Please read it carefully. This is the kind of super cool stuff we'll be doing at BET from now on. Chicken? Yep. Are you kidding me? That's your complimentary lunch. And the orange is your uh. new health care plan. Antioxidants. <laughs> Very important. Wait. Look at ass. <laughs> Nope, 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 you don't get any. You were fired. Okay, let's talk about some new sh <laughs> Bro, just leave, bro, just leave. Shows. As you know, we're starting BET Animation. Here's what I want to see. I'm thinking rappers, young MC roller skating, edginess. He's going too fast. His brakes don't work. We'll get Tone Loke to do the voice. Okay, hmm. How about an animated version of Hamburglar? He's a hungry thug. It's gritty like the He's wire. A he does a drive-by on Burger King. McDonald's can co-finance. We'll call it Beef. Wait a minute. Bro, shut, stop, bro, just stop, stop. Hamburger doing a drive-by on, you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? I know this is not the real BT, but they be doing stupid, bro, all our, all our shows be crazy as hell. Seeing a Flintstones thing happening here, Dino could be a Rottweiler, maybe a pit bull. Instead of Bedrock, we're in Africa. We're keeping it real. You got that? Got it, Wedgie. All right, Where's next up, reality. The Ruckus Reality Show. I'm digging it. I'm feeling it. It's what's good. Let's do that show. Wait a minute. Is this the show about the black man who hates black people? I hear that tone. The head of Viacom personally asked me to make this show. He was being sarcastic. No! Excuse me? Which one of us <laughs> went to Harvard, huh? Did you go to Harvard? You think you understand white humor more than me? Did people be banking on their fucking college degree so bad, bro. But in the end of the day, money talks, bullshit wall. You know what? Shush. <laughs> you don't even work here anymore. Now, the rest of you, get a crew. Get out to WordPress or wherever that guy's from. And let's make the Uncle Ruckus show happen. This shit finna be hilarious, bro. I am the stone that the builder refused. I am the visual. Oh, Lord. This is finna be hilarious. I wake up at a quarter of five in the a.m. every morning. That's about 12 hours before most niggas wake up. <laughs> right, it has nothing to do with black people. He said, this nigga just literally waking up talking about something. Wake up, five in the morning, about 12 hours before most niggas wake up. Like, it had nothing to do I with black people. I am a very spiritual person. I start each day by thanking a white man for the sunrise, for the land I walk on, for the air I breathe. I also <laughs> apologize for niggas, but Lord knows they ain't gonna apologize for themselves. <laughs> I am not black, nor do I consider myself to be black. 
Many people mistake me for being Negro because they don't know that I am currently living with the heartbreak of revitiligo. That's a skin condition that's the opposite of what Michael Jackson's got. Every morning I apply this topical ointment made of bleach and sulfur. I like what? to think it waste. Luckily, I hadn't gotten much darker in the last few years. As you can Wait, nigga, because you're already black as shit, bro. We are the same complexion. We're black as fuck. See him. But we're not Akon black. We're not Akon black yet. I enjoy building small shrines to certain special white people who are important in my life. This Look one here this. is dedicated to John Wayne. Great white man. Didn't take no shit from niggas, Indians, nor Mexicans. And this one here is for George Bush the first. Loved him. <laughs> and this one here is dedicated to the most soul for soul singer to ever live. Okay, it's gonna obviously be Elvis, bro. <laughs> the yeah, most soul for soul singer. I work about jobs over the course of a week. I think it's interesting. I got 32 jobs, and most niggas say they can't find one. <laughs> niggas. <laughs> I right, great pleasures of my day is taking all these pretty little white children to school in the morning. Hey there, Mr. Miller, good morning. That, boy. I keep the bus nice and clean for them. These kids, oh, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, hello there, Miss Madison. How is my little sunshine? Whatever. Whoa, 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 hold it right there. Hey, Where's the gun, huh? Where's the gun? Go on. What's fucked up is why every why every time he gets to talk about black people, that damn trumpet play in the background and shit. Yes, yes, get out of here. Go do your little hyphy fifey dances and nigga monkey shuffle somewhere else. This wow. here bus is for kids with a future. Wow. That's right, that's right. Get your lady ass for some exercise. Y'all should just go be rappers. Get into a beef and then shoot each other. <laughs> Damn. That's fucked up because that's literally what happens, bro. Desegregation ruined the American school system. When did test scores across the country drop? After desegregation. When did drug use and violence in schools go up? After desegregation. There was never no okay. white kids shooting up nothing before they started going to school with niggas. These <laughs> little angels wouldn't even know what a gun was. The white man is a peace-loving man. <laughs> oh, is that the right? The fixing the problems of Negroes is education. But I say education is not the answer. Why bother? And what do niggas do in college anyway? Oh, they go there. They party. Get drunk for four, five years and end up just as ignorant as when they came in. Yep. And here's another fucking thing, bro. He got all these jobs. Look, look, he's a gardener at this job. This was a school bus driver. was a janitor. But here's the thing, though. That is not enough hours. I don't know, bro. Like, imagine, like, even if you work eight hours, eight hours, eight hours, eight hours, I'm like, okay, he does get up early as fuck in the morning. But where is all this fucking money going to? Because if you look at his house, this nigga lives in squander. Where the fuck is this money going to? You ever seen these nigga fraternities and sororities? You ever seen these things? Silliest shit I ever seen in my life. You think Aristotle turned to Achilles and said, hey, let's create a fraternity and jump up and down barking like dogs. Hell no. <laughs> White man out there getting Nobel Prizes and doing business <laughs> deals in the fraternities. Niggas jumping up and down with candy canes and doing all kinds of silly shit with their hands. <laughs> People say there's no difference between the races. But I'll tell you what, I've been cleaning bathrooms for a long time, and I can say white man shit just don't smell the same as black African shit. See, the white man just got a better liver. White man eats his meat raw. See, that's healthier. He calls it tart. Hey, like the liver king and shit, boy. He said he, he, he they eat it raw. No, boy. That nigga don't even eat that shit raw. That nigga eats some other shit. Huh. How you doing this fine day, sir? May I say your duke is smells like sparkling ice water Jesus. with a twist of lime. See? It's like, bro, what the fuck is you doing? This nigga ain't wash his hands, and who the fuck just walks out the bathroom before buckling they shit up? That's why he don't have to wash his hands, neither. Yes, sir, white man has impeccable hygiene. <laughs> That's hey, nasty. Hey, little mulatto girl, you waiting on your daddy? Yes. <laughs> yeah, she talking about her daddy, Tom. He married to a white woman. Lucky some bitch. There he is. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, Punkin. What? <laughs> what are you Lord doing? Lord, how much it, Tom? If you wearing a skirt, this isn't a skirt, Ruckus. It's a kilt. It's part of my Scottish heritage. Now you stop that, right? No, the Scottish heritage boy says your long chin ass. Right That's blasphemy against Mel Gibson and the proud Scottish people. Mel Gibson isn't Scottish. Hush your mouth. 
The Scottish man deserves better than you making a mockery of his history. But Ruckus, sure, I am part Scottish. 32.5%, actually. I just found out. I took one of those tests where they trace your DNA and tell you your exact ethnic makeup. It's fun. You should try it. It's like this nigga has never wore a kilt his whole life. A test result says that he's he's part Scottish. Now this nigga is wearing a kilt and shit. Bro, you, you know what I'm saying? The fakeness, the fake shit. It's like, bro, you fake as hell, bro. I know that you're a part and shit. That's like, you know what I mean, though? That's like, like, I don't know, man. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. I can make a few other comparisons, but at this point, that would just be racist. You 30% Scottish? Black as you is? <laughs> I know! Is this a white doctor or a doctor that gave you this test? Mm, not that it matters, but yes, he was white. Well, hell, that's all you had to say. A white doctor is 99.9% .9 reliable. Black oh, doctor no. is an oxymoron, unless it's a witch doctor. <laughs> wow. Well, well, well. Who knows? Maybe I'll wow. take me one of them tests. I mean, why should Alex Haley be the only person to discover their roots, you know? <laughs> huh? I'm, I'm sorry, Alex, what? what? You know, Alex Haley. Roots. Roots? What is that, some kind of gardening show? <laughs> You're joking, <laughs> right? Roots. You know, roots. What? Yeah, I, I don't follow you. Roots. Roots, roots. You've never heard of Roots? The miniseries? Uh, come here, honey. Uh, uh, hold, hold on. Here. Uh, roots? I don't know nothing about what you're talking about. <laughs> If he said the Lion King, I would have started hollering, bro. I swear. Now, the first thing you should know about me is that I have a case of the revitiligo. It's the opposite of what <laughs> Michael Jackson got. No, see, I, I'm not that kind of doctor. OTG. I'm more of a scientist or a technician. We can trace genetic markers to different regions of the world and know exactly what your makeup is. <clears throat> well, don't let this here out of shell fool you. I'm as white as they come. My favorite movies are Gone with the Wind and Nodding Hill. Okay. He like, bro, Mr. that's C. not what I'm talking Remember about. Remember when you asked us for a way to destroy the minds of black <coughs> children at an even younger age? Oh, sure. Well, you'll be happy to know that I started BET Animation to do just that. Splendid. Oh, I love cartoons. Especially evil ones. Yeah. Mistress Levo, we have a kid show coming on called Super Cyborg Mandingo Man. Yeah. What? We go there. He's an African warrior. Yes, yes. Get to the evil part. Well, maybe I should just show you. We have the pilot. What's that? The script? Actually, we spent all our money on the Vin Diesel show. Oh, my God, he's so awesome. So we got to do this one with a flip book. Hmm. Well, it certainly is incompetent, but we're missing something. What are we missing, people? A budget? Uh, <laughs> yes, but no. Talent? Yes, but no. A work ethic? Pride? Self-respect? Does that nigga have on jail clothes, bro? Is it, are they getting advice from a convict? What network do you work for? B-E-T. And what does that stand for? Black Entertainment. No! Black Evil. Black Evil television. <laughs> it's not enough that the shows are bad. Bitch, get your fake ass evil Coella Duvel, bitch. They like have to be evil as well. Booty Send chin ass. Evil henchman. Elbow evil chin ass. Henchman. Big nigga and crazy bitch. Big nigga, crazy bitch. Teach this person the meaning of black and evil. <gasps> oh shit. Oh, no, this nigga did. No, Mr. Sleevo, please. We'll make it more evil, I promise. Oh, I don't know this motherfucker. Oh, you're done. Wedgie, oh, you're please done. Save me. <laughs> ah, he ain't shit. <laughs> She's gonna cut that nigga. <laughs> This Uncle Ruckus show, how's it going? N bitch, you got you got blood on you, bitch. What the fuck? <laughs> like, who the fuck just keeps on talking about that blood splatter on you? Just, now, that's Uncle Ruckus show. Like, uh, no, bitch. Clean yourself great. up. F fantastic. Is it evil? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> it's I ugly, hope bitch. So, Wedgie, for your sake. Because if it's not evil, then you know what's going to happen. And by happen, I mean you'll be killed or at least very seriously injured. So, huh. so you know, just make sure it's evil. Okay, gotcha. Uh, yeah, yeah. Over there. My test results. Can you hear my heart beating? Oh, the white man science is amazing, ain't it? Uh-oh. Oh, no, Look at this. This, this. this can't be. It says I'm 100 and 2% African. 2% uh, two? Two? margin of error. <laughs> why, Lord? Why, Lord, why? 
<laughs> this nigga's extra black, stupid ass. A hundred and two percent, bro. <laughs> I ain't even a hundred and two percent black, nigga. <laughs> I got something for a fraternity, a nigga. A fraternity I'm Jamaican. <laughs> black fraternity should have an African name. Black like, fraternity. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Hey, I got a black fraternity for you. It's called prison. Jail, fire, jail, nigga. You know. Jail, fire, jail. <laughs> Mr. Rillin, there's a problem on the record shoot. What's the problem? He hasn't gotten out of bed in three days. Like, you look at this house, bro. Yes. Yes. Yes, I know you went to Harvard. Yes. Oh, okay. Lord. He said just keep filming. <sighs> well, I'm black now. But the first thing I did was quit all my jobs. Oh, <laughs> my I don't know how I'm supposed to pay the bills. Probably have to start <laughs> selling crack. Rapping. <laughs> Rapping about selling crack. <laughs> right, pretty much. You know, I might not even have revitiligo. <sighs> okay, I'm black. What am I supposed to do now? <laughs> so this is it, huh? <laughs> this is what you do all day? Sit there reading books and... The fact that Huey is so open that opens his doors to everybody, that, that that's why Huey's the GOAT. Like, he, he might judge you, but he'll judge you silently. Or he'll tell you to your face how he feels. <laughs> Huey is the goat and shit, Make bro. You, you know what I'm saying? Yourself, huh? Black man can't get nowhere with his little pecan-sized mind. So now you can read. Now what? What you gonna do now? Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> Nothing. That's what I thought. You know why? Because we niggas, both of us. <laughs> and that's and that's all we ever gonna be. <laughs> that's all we ever gonna be. <laughs> So this Bro. is what I have to look forward to as a black man, huh? Just sitting around playing PlayStation all day, Ooh. waiting for the next Madden to come out. Maybe I should go out and put rims and all kinds of goofy shit on my truck. I I can't even be fucking mad at him because these are these are definitely stereotypes of black people. But me being black, bro, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Everything he's saying is fucking true, bro. No, 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 no. I take the back. Take back. Not everything he's saying. You know, some things is ridiculous, but like the Rams, BT not really being really good for black people. Now they have some good shows here and there. It's it's just definitely entertaining. But as far as the mind of black people and shit, they they fucked up shit when they took College Hill off. Shout out to Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry doing some cool shit on there. Man. Die in a second now from one of these conditions Slow. and diseases that niggas get. You name it, diabetes, gout, high blood pressure, asthma, sickle cell. Oh, Rucker, stop. This is all in your damn head. You're the exact same fool you were last week. You were black then, you're black now, and you're going to be black tomorrow. Ain't nothing wrong with being black. If you give it a chance, you might actually like it. Mm hmm Ruckus, what are we doing here? Well, this is what niggas do, right? Buy sneakers. Then maybe sure. lady will buy See? loud stereos and B-rate women and rap lyrics. See? The kind of shit I'm you saying. put on your feet nowadays. It look like a damn astronaut shoot. I'm black. I'm not walking to the moon. I'm walking to the left of stone. Ruckus, stop. <laughs> Come on, man. LeBron James, Allen Iverson. Can I get a shoe named after a white man, please? Excuse me. Uh, Doc in the zebra shirt. Can I get a Bruce uh, Jenner sneaker? Man, the hell with this bullshit. Bruce You're on your own. I'm not leaving here till I get me a shoe named after a white man. John Stockton, Pistol Pete Maravich, anybody. Bro, get the fuck out of here talking about getting a Bruce Jenner sneaker, bro. Uh, the Bruce Jenner is interchangeable and shit like that. You can uh, turn the sneaker inside out and... No, all right. All right, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Ooh, please take that joke lightly, bro. Don't cancel me over it, bro. It's just a joke. Bro. Saying I like the Democrats. I don't. They sure as hell don't know what the fuck they do. But the Republicans, they don't fuck the country all the hell. You sure did. <laughs> Nigga, just look at that rap. President over there killing black folk. Mm -hmm. They black. <laughs> I wish you tried to send me that rap. I tell that motherfucking bush to kiss my black ass. Now that's enough. That's enough. Time out, Negro. Time out. I can't sit here and let y'all bad mouth my president. Did any of y'all niggas hear the president when he said Iraq was central to the global war on terror? Or did y'all miss it because he wasn't speaking in baboon? <laughs> Instead really? of sitting around here chopping the brillo off each other's heads, y'all should take your black asses to Iraq and help fight for our freedom. They're going to beat your ass. I'll throw you out. A One of them off the sides, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah. Damn gorilla terrorist. Well, you lucky that was Just all they did. Done. 
Why have you kidnapped me? And now, Doctor, we will discuss your methods of DNA testing. <laughs> no! Please! No! Shit! What? Does this always happen when we try to use the goddamn torture machine? Can somebody please get the power back on so we can use a torture machine? I think someone forgot to pay the bill, Wedgie. Will someone pay the fucking bill? Why don't they just fucking tell him, like, bro, just tell Uncle Ruckus, you know what I mean? Like, why, why, why they gotta torture this nigga? Shades of my skin. Fuck it. Guess that's what they gonna do. Only add color to my ah. tears. Oh, oh. That's that boy is lost. My bones. Ah. Madea's next movie. That rocks my soul. Ah. Oh, oh. What have God rocked? <laughs> he is lost, bro. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Will you niggas please well, shut the, the hell up? I'm trying to watch this man. piece you of shit up. movie. Oh, damn, bro. He called the Medea movie some pizza shit. Bro, that was great, bro. Somebody tell me, what can I do? Oh, no. No. Ruckus, no. What the hell are you guys doing? You were gonna let him kill himself? You said just keep filming, so... He's the star! You're gonna let the star commit suicide? <laughs> but it's reality, I it's mean... It's the you... Uncle Ruckus show. If there's no Uncle Ruckus, there's no show. Oh! So from now on, we're supposed to stop him if he attempts to commit suicide. Nigga. Yes, but I shouldn't have to tell you that! A uh, nigga, he needs help now, guys! You should just know it! Oh, shit. <laughs> Great, that's great. That's just great. Ah, <laughs> oh, what's the point? What's Damn. the point in living? There's nothing to look forward to. Just a life of rap, music, and 40 ounces. What I'm supposed <laughs> to do now, huh? Be somebody baby daddy? Hang out on the corner all day and night, shooting dice, cops chasing me all the time. My body ain't made. That's my life! Without the hanging out on the corner. Need to handle a stun gun. <laughs> Ain't no, got but two or three shows on TV to identify with. Ruckus, you make a very compelling argument, but I know that you're gonna get through this. Huh. Is this what I'm supposed to be reading now, huh? This? Vibe? The source? Jet? You call this a magazine? Look at this. This is a pamphlet. Field and Scream. National Review. Soldier of Fortune. Those are magazines. Oh my this God. is a brochure. Ebony. They should call this National Geographic, except the photos are better. Essence? Essence Damn. of what? Essence of ugliness. Ruckus, we have what? a saying at BET. We hate black people. And I know you share that same sentiment. But I've learned how Long I can use my ass. blackness against the black race. Look at BET. You think we put this shit on the air because it's entertaining? You think we sit down and say, hey, let's be entertaining. How about a Baldwin Hills reality show? I have good taste. Gregory Hines is entertaining. Sammy Davis Jr., he's entertaining. You think I can relate to anything these young niggas have to say? No! We air this shit because we despise our audience! Are there other ways to make money? Yes, of course, yes, yes, yes. But they all require more work. This is easy. And the only people who suffer, the only people who suffer, Ruckus, are black children. I think we both See? can live with that. Wedgie Rutland, you sure do have <clears throat> profound insights. Well, I don't know. I, I just don't think I can stand life as a darkie. <coughs> Aha, it's you! You did this to me. He's about, Aha, it's you! <laughs> Niggas always be looking for someone to blame, bro. You gave me that test. Yes, I know. And I came because there was a mistake at the lab. We had a black intern there I didn't know about. He messed up your test. Here are your actual results. Okay. Well, I'll be. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! How dare you mistakenly inform a man of his blackness? You should be ashamed to call yourself a white doctor. I'm uh, sorry. See, Ruckus, okay. you were worried about nothing. Well, Wedgie, I must say, for a darkie, you are not that difficult to hang around. Now, you said you learned all that stuff in Harvard. Well, I definitely didn't learn it at one of those historic. I know that the, the doctor that's sitting there, boy, that look like the, the doctor from Archer, ugly ass. But I know that he's sitting there thinking like, these black motherfuckers is crazy as hell, bro. If he wasn't racist before, he's racist now. Right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> black 
Just right. against them <laughs> niggas, though. Mo house, all kind of left house. <laughs> oh, it sure feel good to be white again. Oh, God. I'll tell you what. Living even for a few days as a black man gave old Uncle Ruckus a whole new perspective on life and a whole lot more sympathy towards colored folks. I tell okay. you that. Okay, maybe that's good. Oh, maybe look what not. we have here. Yo, for real, we're not trying to play with you today, Ruckus. We're just trying to cross the street. Well, go right ahead. You young brothers have a blessed day. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, all right now. All right now, Ruckus. All right, bro. <laughs> You fucked up, bro. You are fucked up. I don't care what you say. You fucked up. <laughs> he is fucked up, bro. That okay, I can see you not liking black people. Okay, all right. But you gonna let them kids get hit by a truck, though? No. Bitch ass nigga, bro. Fucking bitch, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's what I be talking about, bro.